So, welcome back on YouTube. We are writing orchestral synthwave. We just finished sort of mixing and mastering kind of our song, really. I don't think I would actually do anything to it after the fact. I'll probably have a listen on the monitors. I'll just mute that for you guys. You'll probably you'll you you still should be able to hear just fine. I'll just mute my mic and we'll probably give it a listen at the end through the studio monitors and I'll do some moves and I'll talk you through them. Cool? Cool. But first, we need to finish writing this sort of, uh... I keep, <laughs> I keep having to stop myself from saying bad words. Uh, I was gonna s keep writing this sucker. I guess. Okay, cool. So, we need the aggressive bit. So, first of all, I'm gonna get some, my industrial uh, impact over here, as well as this, as this snare. And we need to put it one bar ahead and we start with the inverted snare. So do it like this. Yeah. And it's like super amazing that Cubase actually sets, doesn't like mess around with your samples position when you change tempo i just love that so much so much if anybody here used the old cubase 5 by any chance um you might know you might remember that anytime you change tempo your sort of samples would move around it'd mess up all of your stuff and that was super annoying and um but we don't have to worry about that you see everything is in time perfectly lovely let's do it <laughs> And we'll do, we'll do some more work on the drums towards the end to add in breaks, other percussion elements to make the drums more interesting as well. We definitely want us some of that. Let's bring in the synths from our sort of our aggressive section. And but first, I, before I do that, I need to unfreeze these pads. Unfreeze. Come on, Cubase, don't you? Dare crash on me. You can do this. Okay. And I need to bring in the... That wackiness with the Valhalla, that's the wackiness you're hearing over there is basically uh, Valhalla's super massive, which is cool. <laughs> I dig it. It's cool. And let's just move this bit over here. And that way, um, I cut it super wrong, didn't I? No, so, so I'm supposed to cut it right about here. So that's two, four, six, eight. Cut. Do this, and I'll move this over here, and... Now, there was a way to change to sort of time stretch. Sizing moves, sizing applies time stretch. Okay. And we're gonna, we're gonna time stretch just this little bit here. And hopefully it, it won't mess up the other sort of sample over there. Let's see if this works. So if I just sort of time stretch time stretch in a sort of timey-wimey wibbly wobbly way did that change over here did it create a new version so this is um this sort of is uh, what did it already do it hold on hold the phone Thank you. 
still a tad too early. Let's do it like this. I think that's sounding pretty cool and now we both learn together and this is the super cool thing about streaming this and like, like going through this process on camera and with you guys because I just learned how to do a thing I didn't know how to do this thing but I just learned how to do this thing how cool is that I didn't and I, I, I've never used time stretching in this way before in Cubase I used to do some crazy kooky stuff with uh, with with FL Studio, but this just worked, and I and I super love it. It doesn't have to be perfect because it's a pad; it's way up there, and we don't really want to hear its super definition, so we're fine. So. I want to repeat this bit and damn I'm, I'm just jamming like super hard on this song now this is why it's kind of important that you you sort of uh mix your stuff a little bit um because when you're writing it you can get like super inspired about uh about what you're come on stop doing that about what you're listening to and that is incredibly important to um to have. And I'm just gonna link those two together. <laughs> A radiant seeker, I can hear you singing in the other room, I think. <laughs> I don't know if it's coming through in the mic. <laughs> She's having fun. She's drawing in the other room, basically, which is cool. She's working on a cyber demon from Doom, which I think is super duper cool. Can't wait to see the final thing. And, I'll pro and she'll probably have a time lapse about uh, with that on her channel as well. Plugging Iridian Seeker. Check out her stuff on YouTube. Now, so. to do some wackiness with the bass line over here. Let's try a progression. Can we do a progression? I don't even know what notes I'm playing on the pads, so this is gonna be an interesting experience for the both of us. Oh boy, I think I have a, uh, a key change over here. So it's the C, D, and D sharp. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, let's try it like this then. So we're going to go start like this, do this, and...
Oh, I have to listen to it again. I like it. It's weird. It's different. It's something else. What notes am I playing over here? So it's the A and the A sharp. We have got the 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 the, the, the what the C, the D, the D sharp, and that's basically kind of all we're playing. What notes are we playing on the pads? Oh, it's actually doing the ascending thing. Let's change these notes as well. So let's go to the D and then to the D then and then to the D sharp. Yes, yes, this is a D sharp and then go down to the A sharp. Let's see what that sounds like. We're just sort of throwing in a kooky progression and key change over here. I like that. It's different. It's different. It's not like super correct. I think there are some notes clashing there, but I really could not care. It works. Okay, and then we're gonna copy the, these notes, put them over here, and go back to the C so that we have another progression. Uh, I'm sorry, so that we have a lead in into the, um, the next bit. Hmm, that sounds cool. Can I just hear the pads? I would like to hear the pads and see what they're... Huh, that, that works super fine actually. Okay, I need to add a lead over here. I have no idea what that lead will be, but I think I need a lead over here. I need to add in some variation. We can do some crazy stuff with... Um, um, but I would like to... I keep trying to go back to the orchestra, but I keep trying to like stop myself because I want the orchestra. So you've been abusing the orchestra kind of the, through the whole song. I think it's time to let the synths... Th the synths shine and in order to do that i actually have some new synths i'd like to try out i talked ab about it in the uh intro to the stream but i got some new free synths guys and let's see what we have here so we've got the dex synth we've got the maw synth the tyrell the pg8x and there's another there's a tal one i should have gotten i just realized as well as the triple cheese because you know how I like my stuff to be cheesy. Um, and also the magical 8-bit plugin if we want to do some kooky chips, chip tune stuff. Now, I would also the helm, of course. Now, I'd really like to use the dext. I will start out with the dext. And I want to send this properly. Um, I'm not going to play any notes before we turn down the volume. First off, we're going to send this to the sense. We are going to... Um, high pass our stuff right because again we do not want it messing our our literally just fixed master right so just don't you even okay i'm gonna and i'm gonna send it to the lead synth verb uh verb excuse me Oh, I was I was doing the 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 yes the other thingy. Okay. Now it's turned down. Let's see. Not exactly what I had in mind. Um. Say again. Let's see what we have in here. Laurie.
okay this is cool but it's not that i need i need a sort of an aggressive synth beat m me harder what yeah no It's, it's cool, but it's not what I need. Does it... I'm not doing it right, am I? Okay, sorry for the radio silence. I was super focused. So the idea is that I want this like sort of aggressive synth to be to come in here. So it's like, oh no 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 no, um, dext aggro synth, and let's make it dark. Okay. But really, I, I want that attack to be more present. So we're going to go to the Transient Shaper from Kilohertz. Again, not sponsored, but oh my god. This is exactly what I needed in my life. So I want it to pump. And I don't want that much sustain on it. Let's see what that sounds like. And I'm super loving that. I need to double it, though, with another lead um, so that I can do the, the low notes as well. Hmm. And I want to do one of, uh, one of these, basically. Which is super cool, but I don't want to do it with this instrument. I mean, I, I, I want to do it with this instrument, but I want to do it with another instrument. So let's find a cool lead over here in Tyrell, and I'm going to send it to my synths. And... Okay, we're gonna check out this. Again, all free synths. These are all free synths. Uh, use the Ana 2 for most of this song, but now I just wanna sort of experiment with, with other synths as well. Agro synth. Um, 
And there's another thing I'd like to do, which is turn the decks just a little bit louder, not too much. We don't want to wreck our mix and our just recently fixed master. <laughs> I can't stress this enough. This is this really sort of um, and I'm going to use a transient shaper on it as well to to accentuate that attack. And I'm going to turn this Tyrell synth down. I don't want it to destroy us completely. All right. Okay. Let's uh, see what we have in here. BB Funky, Vox Humana, El Harpo, Influx Pad, Robotnik, 8-bit ga Game Hero. I can totally use this, actually. We just have to write it with one, uh, with just one note at a time because it doesn't do poly, phonic stuff. I'm going to do it with, with the high note. I'm just going to need to uh, copy paste in a proper spot. So that is super cool. I'm loving that. I just need to turn up that synth louder. And I just need to record a bit over here. That is too low. So up. Let's do the C. How is that sounding? And I need to show the pitch bend as well. Where's my note? Yeah, I think we're gonna do it up there. I think it's it's better up there. And let's do a zero over here to kind of reset. It's not doing what I like. Oh, cheers, man! How you doing, boy? Sorry for the lag on that one. So, sort of a uh, super in here. Um, super. Yeah, that is the note I want. I don't think I want the actual sort of bend. Would have been cool though. Okay, and let's do this. So it's coming in on the second fourth. Let's do that. How is your Saturday, man? How you doing, boyo? How you doing, boyo? I am digging that. It's different. It's something, it's a new element to kind of keep you engaged while we go into this part. And we're gonna need another lead for the second part that is a bit more melodic.
Aww. Give give our best to her. Cheers. Hey. Binging the new dark season. I still haven't gotten into dark, man. So I'll be bouncing off soon. Wanted to check in. Hey, no worries. No worries. Thank you for stopping by. Um give a give our best to her and i hope you guys have a super cool saturday spend it together be well um be safe be happy and uh, enjoy the new dark season still haven't got into that yet um but yeah i've heard i've heard but i still um i don't know the not being an english thing is kind of bothering me so i can't really pay attention and watch it properly i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> thank you mate thank you cheers hugs boyo um how's the how's the song coming along you like you like what you hear i remixed it and uh yeah but then the, the english audio will not sync up with the lips and it'll be super weird i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm a bad person i know <laughs> But how's the song coming along? Uh, we I, I did some tweaking to the mix and made the drums super aggressive, and now it sounds now now it suddenly sounds like this basically. like a cool lead here oh <laughs> thank you thank you i'm glad i'm glad that you like it it's um uh as i was saying i, I woke up at five in the morning today and did a song for uh for for the dudes at vlog technica um and um I, I started working on a song for them and i did this sort of cyberpunk 2077 inspired night city song that's all synths so no uh orchestras and I just and I realized that there were some things that I would that I should have been doing on this song that I wasn't. Things like distorting the drums, uh, putting in some um, some LFOs and sort of, of fading, like pumping things a bit more to make more space for the drums. Uh, things that. And there's my desktop. Are we still live? Yes, we are. There's my desktop. I'm a big Doctor Who fan. Cheers. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Um, what was I saying? Yes, pumping the drums, doing stuff that you usually do in EDM that I wasn't really doing here because I was kind of thinking more about the orchestra stuff, but I was kind of neglecting the, the synth wave part. And, um, now everything sounds louder and more aggressive and should be, should be a bit clearer and hitting a bit harder and being louder. Which I think is super cool. It's definitely the vibe we want to go with now. Um and the Radiant Seeker is jamming the Doom 2016 soundtrack in the other room. I can hear like Mick Gordon's crazy uh sound design riffs from over here. <laughs> anyway, that's actually another thing I would really like to do after we finish this up and sort of do maybe one more synthwave track pure synthwave track I really like to do a, a sort of doom 2016 track because i have obsessed about the doom 2016 soundtrack and i'm loving the eternal soundtrack as well i think i actually like it more than 2016 but i'm still waiting for the official spotify release anyway um I've been obsessing over the Doom sound, like Mick Gordon's Doom sound, for over... for like four years now. And I should really do something on stream with that. <laughs> sounds more cohesive. Thank you! Thank you, I'm glad it sounds better. I just need a cool lead over here. So, we're in C minor. So that's gonna be what? Are, are we doing... This is giving me, like, Arabian soap opera vibes. Mm. 
Anyway. Um, let's use this Tyrell synth and try to do some cookie stuff with it. Which is gonna be like what? And if we were doing an, <laughs> a cheesy sci-fi alien soundtrack, that would have been good. So what I want to do is do what? This here. Up here. No. Wait, this, this these weren't the notes. That sounds familiar though. Eh. Those are some intervals from somewhere, I think, but eh. So, let's see how that sounds. That is so wrong. That is definitely not, not what I wanted to do. I need this A sharp over here. I'm sorry, but I was really jamming on it. And I think I'd like it to happen a bit earlier, actually. Um, let's do it like, let's move these notes. So I'm just doing the C, the D sharp, and again, I think these notes are from somewhere, but I don't really care because I have a different chord progression, it's something different entirely. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter, don't think about it, don't think about it. Um, let's see. Loving that. Okay. Oh, PT. Hey. How you doing, girl? Cheers. Welcome. Thank you for tuning in on your um, on your day off, on your last day there. Actually, thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you. You guys are so nice. You guys are too nice. I feel bad sometimes about how nice you guys are. Does that make sense? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> anyway, I'm liking this synth. I like that it comes in before the beat. It adds a bit of variation. I just need something... Oh, shush you. You're amazing. No. Uh, no, you're breathtaking. There it was. <laughs> it wasn't... I, I didn't... I wasn't remembering it. Anyway. So I really like this synth. This synth. But how can we make it cooler? Like how? Can I engage an LFO tool on it? Hold on, hold on just a sec. Can I do this so it's like a four on the floor? The panning, I don't want to happen. The low pass, I don't want to happen. I just want the sort of amplitude to go a bit kooky. <laughs> oh, 
Hold on, hold on, hold on. Just a sec. What you doing over here? really feeling that that lfo tool i guess we're just gonna try to put in another synth and see how that sounds ah <laughs> thank you thank you um let's see let's get another synth in here let's go with something from the pg8x or the what should we take in let's try the retro log because i don't use it enough and it's cubase's stock synth Really? I mean, this comes with Cubase, and I paid for Cubase, so I'm gonna use this dang synth. So, retro log agro mellow synth. My naming, I know, it's the best. It's an aggressive melodic synth. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna send this to the uh, reverb as well, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna sort of duplicate this but i want to duplicate it in a special way i want it to sort of be 16th notes that are kind of uh, pulsing right why i don't know i think it'll sound cool i think it'll give more motion and we'll we'll see how that sounds so our notes are basically um i did turn this synth down right i'm not gonna i'm gonna myrtleize your ears right okay we are good High, low, high, low. Oh, let's let's do it low, because then we're gonna go into a kooky sort of poppy bit, I think. And I'd really like the. Come on. Uh, I'd really like this to be, just not so. Hold on a sec. Okay, so we we are on thirty seconds. Okay, I'm just gonna copy paste this over here and then move it along. So, what are our notes? C, D sharp, uh, and this should be a C, actually. And then uh, we're gonna do, um, we're gonna go back to the D. <laughs> Insert the D jokes here. Oh my god, no, I'm <laughs> just gonna stop. <laughs> anyway, and we're gonna do this, and let's see how that sounds. It'll probably sound terrible, but we'll find a cool sound for it. Let's see. Yes, we need a cool sound for that. Now, first of all, what I'd really like to do to make it stand out a bit more is I like to put in an auto pan on it, sync it to the beat, to the four on the floor beat. Yeah. Thus, it's giving it more motion. I'd also like to clean up the low end on it, just super, super quick. There you go. And now let's find a cool sound for it. And just loop that bit a little bit while we find our cool sound. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I am digging this.
there's just a slight issue with it that it's clashing a bit with my bass. So what I need to do is I need to solo the bass, solo this sound, because this sound is a bass as well. Don't ask why I put basses on basses playing other notes. I don't know, man. And thank you for the follow, Pity. I just saw it. Gosh darn it, my notifications. For some reason, I'm not getting the alert sounds. But thank you, thank you, th super, super, super thank you for following. I hope you're still around. I hope you see this at some point. If not, somebody tell her that she is awesome for following. Thank you. I'm sorry for missing it. I'm terrible at this. Oh, get the hang of it. <laughs> for following cheers um yes so i need more high end on this on this sound i need to go to the virtual do i need to go to the virtual i need an eq I can just do it here actually let's do it like uh i shall I don't think this is the right sound guys i keep trying to make it into something that it's not it's not fi it's not fitting it's not fitting you can't really hear it and if i turn it up it'll just muddy the bass hmm well you win some you you lose some no thank you for tuning in to my dinky little stream thank you <laughs> um sh oof oof you are too nice thank you um, let's go to a little pluck sound. Maybe we can find a little pluck sound. So let's go to, um, plucks. Do we have anything like that? Minor, plastic, poly, poly? Acid synth. That is so cheesy. I like it so much. Yeah, they'll work. Okay, cool. Now we need to go to the cheesy bit, but I'll do it a bit sadder. So we've got this... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, righty then. So let's get our bass in. And we're gonna do it like twice as long because we are repeating and we are going to like to sit a bit on this or we'll think about it we'll think about it but let's get the drums in especially with these big ass phil collins toms because we love them so much they're too quiet swear these toms, the, the toms in music in general will be the death of me at one point. I adore making music, but I hate mixing toms. And they never just sort of every time I hear toms, I'm like, yeah, no, mm, not good. Mm, gotta, gotta redo them. No, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave them as they are. And I'm, am I missing another tom hit? Uh, yes, I am, actually. And I would really appreciate having that tom hit in there. Um, like, I've changed the volume five times already on these toms. And every time I hear them, they're just... The, I need them quieter, I need them louder, I need them to just go away. <laughs> no. Uh, yeah, it's just this hit that I'm missing over here.
Okay, let's see how that sounds. back the orchestra let's do it uh, i'm going again since i want some variation i'm going to re-record -re -re it instead of copy pasting the orchestra because the orchestra has like four uh, eight instruments and every time i do it i might do something different i might be inspired by something and change a little bit the chord progression or something and uh, decide that maybe i want the orchestra to take the lead which is exactly what i want to happen over here in this bit um, this one thing, I would really appreciate freezing uh, these three synths over here. No, yes, yes. I would like to freeze these leads so that... Or, or, or... No, wait, hold on. This uh, melodic sort of pluck, what if I keep it going? What happens if I keep it going? Um... To provide some melodic counterpoint to the progression. Which is a very fancy way of saying I have, I'm have. i trying to sound like I know what I'm doing and basically I just want to keep the, the root note going just so that it fills out the chord and feels a bit different. And we're going to do it by moving it up as well. Can I be even crazier? No, 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 no. 30 second notes and I'd like you to go up here. Let's see what that sounds like. And we're going to change the ending a little bit to add a bit of variation and make it a bit sadder as well. But it's a bit too loud, right? It's too in your face. It's changing the, the, the sort of uh, idea of the song too much. So we're going to take it down a lot. Because what I wanted to do is sort of create an atmosphere around the sort of baseline, right? Which is super cool. Now, um, I just need to freeze these synths because I probably won't use them anymore. And I'd like to free up some processing power and not have any craziness happen on stream where Cubase crashes on me. Um... And this is super important, and I do it even on YouTube, even on stream, because people need to be mindful of what, like, what the limitations that they're working on. Um, it's um, it's super important, and I'd like to to make it clear that it's super important. Freeze it, do it. This is gonna take a while, and it doesn't take long to do anyway. And it gives me a chance to look at stream, uh, to look at the chat, see if anybody is commenting, and to again wish everybody. Wherever you're watching this, either if you're with us today or if you're watching later on YouTube, I hope you have an awesome day. Really, because come on, this is super cool. We're making music. What can be better than that? We're making music together on stream. This is super awesome. And I'm not just saying that. I know a lot of people seem to think that maybe if you're if you're YouTubing or streaming, like maybe you're fake or something, but I'm so happy. I'm like a kid. Um... This is, this is super cool for me. Okay, let's, uh, let's uh, see uh, what we have uh, over here. So we 
I've got these plucks going on to kind of fill in the... <laughs> I just love that freaky reverb. Uh, we have some plucks going on around here that are kind of sort of filling in the ambiance. Let's see. This is still... Oh, what did I do? This is still a bit too loud. So I'm going to go into the automation and try to make it a tad quieter. Just so that it doesn't... Well, uh, I say a tad quieter and then I just turn it down 20, 20 decibels, right? Um, just uh, something like that. Let's see. I am loving how that sounds and I just I'm digging so much the mix that we're having today I'm just having like a super good day for music woke up at 5 a.m. did a did started a song now I'm here I'm finishing this song we've got two more hours to stream and I want to finish the song by the end of that I will even wager that I will finish I will go with this mix and finish it and put it on Spotify at the um, end of this week basically hey Radiant Seeker, you still there? You need to do my visuals. I think I'm gonna finish the song today. I hope you're working on that video for YouTube for this song, right? <laughs> she's ignoring me because she's blasting the Doom soundtrack. She can't probably hear me. Nice F AFK there, Radiant Seeker. Cheers. <laughs> I'm just trolling. I'm just trolling for a good time. Anyway, let's do this. So... Let's do the orchestras, let's do the strings, and then we shall do the brass. Okay, so the... So we are on contrast, so we're gonna go low. Get low! Um, and our chord progression is... A sharp, G, D, C, right? And I just, and again, remember, we, we're on stream, so I have like a huge lag when recording, but we're just going to move everything to their proper position afterwards. Let's do this. Had to record the other part as well, sorry. No, I didn't do it properly. So what I'm doing with my left hand is I'm working the modulation wheel on the keyboard so that we have some dynamics. And when you look over here on the um, recorded bit, you'll see it going up and down, up and down. That's basically the bowing of the string that I'm trying to kind of emulate, right? So if you're like playing... Um, if you're playing like a string, like a violin or something, you're going up and down, right? Even on this, even if you're changing notes in between, especially if you're changing notes in between. So uh, I'm just trying to sort of imitate that and get the right feel so that it feels a bit more natural. And I think for this bit, we're going to want a tambourine, and I'm not even joking. Right, and now we just move this, uh, the notes that we played. And you kind of see, and over here is the modulation that I've recorded. And you can see it going up and down, up and down, up and down, much like you would on the string. Um, cool, and now I... Uh, time to do the cello and the cello and we're paint and we're making the contrabasses and the celli play the same thing just an octave apart because that way they'll sound more together and more consistent and i hope i am not covering anything important with my face here on the left side but at least you can see the sort of meters going as well as the local time and date if you're interested in that sort of thing i don't know maybe you're a sort of date guy 
If you're a date guy, do you go on a lot of dates? Okay, let's do this. I was sort of rethinking my life decisions with that joke. And I wasn't paying attention to what I was recording. I'm sorry. Let's do it again. Cool, 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 cool. So like this. Come on. Let's move the modulation over as well. Hey, over here. Yeah, do that. Okay, cool. Now the violas. Now, let me think if there's anything interesting that we can do with the violas. I think I'm going to play the violas like that. Let's see. Okay. And I know, I know we're repeating the this again, but we'll try to do something interesting. Uh, repeating again? We're gonna, we're repeating this bit and it might turn out a tad boring. And I know my, my ADHD, my musical ADHD is sort of flaring up. I want something to change and we will change. We'll add some other elements to make it more interesting there. Um... I don't think I'll bring back that lead, actually. I think I'll just accentuate the sort of minor nature of the key that we're in. So basically, the violins, too, will fill out the chord. I'm missing fifths, aren't I? Okay, the violins, too, will fill out the chord with the fifths and the thirds. So basically, we are starting out on the A sharp, so... There's our fifth for the A sharp. And I need my third, which is going to be the D. So basically. And then I need to. And again, we're elevated as. <laughs> elevated AF. <laughs> yes, quite right. <laughs> hey, now we are playing with the. I have no idea what I'm doing, man. I'm just trying to. And I'm trying to. The, the cool thing is that I'm figuring out what the heck I'm supposed to play. I know it in my head, the principle. But I'm trying to figure out on stream with you guys as well. So we're learning together. So again, for the A sharp, we're doing this. Then we're going to a G. So that's just going to be what? Yes. So the, we're playing the D and the F, then the D and the A sharp, and then the D and the F again, and then the C and the E. No, that, that's not right. Well, yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. So. I think that's too major. I think I'll take it down to the C and the E, although I would need the G in there for the fifth of the C. Anyway, let's do it. Let's record it. 
Screw it. Let's see how it sounds. Uh, we don't care about theory. We don't care about theory here. Well, we, we, we do, and we like to talk about it, but, but I don't know that much. So, so let's just see how it sounds. I lock. What you doing, I lock? Dude, is my has my eye lock stopped? Uh, hold on a sec. This is super cool to do on on, on stream. Ah, no, 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 no. Go, go, go away. No. <laughs> ah, it's 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 not signed in. It's fine. There is nothing personal that you actually saw in there. I did not think this through. I did not. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> um. Anyway, the idea is that somehow my iLock software, which is a sort of authorizing software for the Slate Digital uh, uh, bundle that we're using here today, is the stream still working? Okay, yes. Locked in a basement? What? Did I miss something? What do you mean locked in? What? Anyway. Um, oh, lock, iLock. Okay, okay. I, I got it. It took me a while, but I got there. And that's... That's usually how I am, like a mule. I'm slow, but I get there. Anyway, the idea is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway, the idea is that that software is somehow kind of closed. I might have closed it by accident. Whatever. We are fine. Everything is working properly, hopefully. Let's record that next bit. I have no... I can't remember what I was supposed to play. It'll be fine. Let's do it. I need to go back to the D and the F. Now I remember. I remember. I'm good. I'm good. Let's do it. Again, you're kind of hearing it super weird because of the lag, but once we put it there, we should be hearing it properly. And we'll probably bring in some arpeggiated strings as well. We just have to link these notes a little bit more because of my sloppy playing. Um, because that way they, they will feel more natural. They're, you're flowing from one note to the other. Are we okay on stream? I'm seeing some frames dropping. Blah. We good? We should be good. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, you see? It sounds a lot better like that, yeah. Okay, and now to accentuate the har the minor nature of our key, we are going to basically... That's all we're going to be playing. Let's see if that sounds cool. And let's bring the modulation in here. And now... complete this with a line as well with uh, so it's gonna be like
Oh, cheers, Iridian Seeker. Welcome back. <laughs> Where you been? <laughs> No, 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 no. <laughs> it starts out because of a minor, uh, a minor sort of interval, but no, semitonal interval. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about the limitations of what we're using here. Tiger X777, thank you for the follow. Welcome! We are making orchestral synth wave. I hope you're having a good time. I know I am. Um, let me just put a cut in for YouTube and then we'll talk a little bit about the limitations of the free software that we're using and we'll try to make this sound better. We've got a line, we've got a, a lead line here that we like to make sound a lot better. Hi, hi, hi. Anyway, cheers on YouTube.